shape of a room is a major factor in determining how good things will sound in that room. That's why recording studios and other spaces where sound is important are often designed as complex polygons. Any shape with four or more straight sides is a polygon. There are regular polygons where all sides are equal and irregular polygons where the sides are uneven. You rarely find rooms shaped as regular polygons which is just as well as they can cause big problems with sound. The more sides, the worse it can get. Right up until a circular room, effectively an infinite number of walls, which can be a complete nightmare. Adam's computer maps the way sound waves bounce around and become focused on specific points within a space. The more walls, the more confused the reflections become. Squares are relatively clean. A seven-sided heptagon. A ten-sided decagon. And a fifteen-sided pentadecagon starts to get really messy. Both regular and irregular polygons have two key properties. The sum of the external angles always equals 360 degrees, and the internal angle sum varies, depending on the number of sides. As an example, the internal angle sum of this studio control room can be calculated by dividing its floor plan into triangles. We know that the angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. This polygon can be split into six triangles and six times 180 equals 1080 degrees. A studio control room with a high internal angle sum like this is a huge advantage. It's very important in designing a room to make sure that the walls are angled in such a way that we direct sound away from the areas that we don't want it and direct it into areas that we do want it. When sound travels around a room and bounces off walls and things, it bounces very much like light bounces off mirrors. The angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. So if the sound hits the wall at 45 degrees this way, it bounces off the mirror image that 45 degrees that way. The engineer should really only hear the sound directly from the speakers. Any sound off the side walls would interfere with what we hear and cause us to make bad judgments when we're doing the mix. This area is called the critical listening area and must be kept clear of reflected sound. If the room was four-sided, this is what would happen. Thus, by building many walls into this control room, the designers have removed the problems of reflected sound. Wherever you look into the world of music, geometry is vital for delivering clear, crisp and controlled sound.